What's up team? Welcome to the super vlog. That's what I'm going to call this. I filmed about five vlogs this week and put none of them up. I was ill, so they didn't have endings, and it all just got a bit confused. So I thought, do you know what? Why don't I put all the stuff I've done together, edit it so it all flows nicely, and give it to you guys? Because what that gives you that you don't often see from us is a bit more what our weekly training plan would look like, um, and, and kind of how we implement our training through the week. Obviously, there's two days that I was ill, so that's not in there. But before we jump into that, three weeks ago, we had the pleasure of hanging out with Team Reebok and Reebok UK at Strength and Depth competition. And we got to hang out with some of the absolute OGs of CrossFit and some of the fittest people in the world. Uh, and we were privileged enough to create some really cool content for Reebok. So I'm gonna throw that up real quick and then we're gonna jump in to all the, the random miss that's happened this week. Catch you in a sec. You excited for today, Becca? Yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be nice to move. You're gonna smash it. I hope so. <laughs> Try DC mode versus make a wish for a purpose. Purpose to practice a rap until I emerge perfect. Uh, Flawless victory recycle. Yeah. Kick like my sickle circles flow. Can I do my thinking? Dang it, Langa till it's purple. All my Excited for this boy. Yeah, man. Yeah. Can't you tell? Nice. Struggles, dicks, infectious, will less spit. I'm only inside bullet tips. Put in a clean your mind. Glitch, they have the one I'm not. Nah, did you see me? Uh uh. I'm like a genie. Uh uh. The mind is subconscious. Defeated on your memory. Ripping lyrical line. Rich ticks, medical bomb risk. Uh, that's the remedy from the bro. Watch Dave, all weekend I've seen you wearing your slippers. Explain. Feet are in trainers all day when you're competing, so it's nice to give them a bit of air. So it's like a nice compromise between walking around in socks and walking around in uh, trainers. Hearing you. Taking time, baby. Playing with you. Hi, I'm Jordan, the shortest guy on the team. I like to pick the highest things to stretch my glutes on. I love a challenge, mate. <laughs> Not this old fight, though. I don't love this old fight. <laughs> Last workout, ladies. How you feeling? guys enjoyed that we had so much fun it was a real privilege thank you so much to Reebok for allowing us to do that and to all the athletes who are just beyond awesome anyway moving on from there this week you might have said I had a bit of a tash that was which I've shaved off now was to basically just raise awareness for Movember which is a charity that happens every November and it's to raise health awareness for men whether that's mental or physical so basically I took a razor to my face it looks something like this not gonna need that here we go I've never not had facial hair since I could grow it because I look six years old without facial hair. So this is gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> Just no. No one's gonna take me serious with this. I look like, have you seen Narcos? I look like Javier from Narcos. Let's ask Rose what she thinks. Soon find out. Okay. Hi. Yeah, yeah. What? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Go in the light ball. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Got clearance from the wife. Anyway, we've got lots of training to do today. We're gonna to go and train with Matt and Dave. They're talking about doing DT. I'm at the box. Gonna try and work a bandana again at some point today, revisit this situation. Matt and Ben are here. Dave and Benji are over there. Matt's being sick, he really wants to hit DT. DT is the only workout that, well, it's the workout that I've been the closest to quitting on ever. Disgusting. It's hideous, so I'm not gonna be doing it at RX. And I didn't do it at RX last time and it almost killed me. So I'm gonna do it on 60. Basically, it's five rounds, 12 deadlifts, nine power cleans, six shoulders overhead. I do believe push jerks. Um, so that's that. I've done a couple of double unders, I'm out of breath already. Anyway, let me get warmed up, my knees are hurt. <laughs> oh. 
What a cock. I'm just gonna do one round and hit it like I win. <laughs> DT is disgusting, um, and next time I've got to try and do it at RX. Something cool also happened this week. Um, I got a very interesting letter, uh, and it looked like this. It's my certificate for my CrossFit Level 1. Thank you. Awesome. So when it came to training this week, I did a few sessions this week uh, with my buddy Matt at his home gym, which is wicked. First day we snatched off blocks, and then after that day we went swimming. Uh, next year we're doing Tribal Clash in Portugal, which is a CrossFit competition. It's on a beach, so it's going to involve a lot of swimming. Swimming is my weak point. Like. I, it makes me a little bit nervous. I'm not afraid to say that. Um, I can swim. I'm not. I can't do like the head underwater side to side. I just go and I go for it. And I'm not very efficient and I don't have a lot of stamina. And the thing that scares me about that is, is if I don't have enough stamina to do 100 push-ups, I fall on the floor. If I'm out at sea and I don't have the stamina to swim back or even get there, I die. That's that's the difference there. So swimming is something I'm working on massively. As a result of that. After this snack session you're about to see, I got ill. Morning mate. You alright? Yeah. Ready to rock? Ready to rock. Cheers. What's up team? Today we are in Matt's very sweaty, steamy garage. We had a rank session here the other night. Today, Matt's got his blocks out and we are snatching. Snatching from blocks. Yeah, boy. Why are we snatching from blocks? Because we're shit. Because <laughs> we are shit, but it's going to teach you to get under the bar faster. You've not got like kind of the first part of the pool. It's probably going to be from up above the knees and higher, and it's just up and go, get good hip connection, get under that bar fast. Nice. My points of action today are making sure I stay on the back portion of my foot. And although you want to have your whole foot on the floor, I lean on the toes often on my snatches and it doesn't do my knees any favour. So my point of call is really to focus a little bit more weight on my heels and as a byproduct, I end up coming nice and flat on the foot. Also, we've got to drop under nice and fast. What were we just talking about a second ago? No. <laughs> Coming out the bottom? Yes. Thank you, Matt. Also. When I get up to heavier weights, whether it's because I don't overhead squat enough, which I've started programming in now, or I'm just not comfortable in that position, or strong enough, when I get up to my max weights, around the 80, 85 mark, which is my PB, I come, I hit the bottom of the weight and I come straight out of the hole. Because maybe I'm not long enough, I'm not stable enough to spend time in the hole and really stabilise myself before pushing up. So these next two snatches, I'm going to try and spend a little more time at the bottom, get stable, before I come up. What's up team? I have done about three vlogs this week and none of them have been uploaded for multiple but reasons. Sexy face wasn't in any of them. One of the reasons being I've been ill. I had a cold for the last two days so I haven't been able to train. So today is the first day where I'm kind of feeling a bit better, just kind of coughing up those last bits of rankness. Matt and Leon are here and we're going to go and squat in the garage before Leon and I crack on with some more work. Um, 
Not squatted for a few days, obviously been ill. I still want to try and hit my current 1RM, which is 141. Goal for this year was to hit 150 kilo back squat. That was before I had burstitis. Got about three or four weeks to do that before we go on holiday. You do that. I reckon I'm gonna do it. Uh, so next squat, it, next squat. Oh. So let's go and get in the garage. <laughs> it's much easier just to do it that way. I got all the tools out of the garage by putting together this little thing. Oh, nice. 100 pound from screw fix. Spot on that. Got to put a padlock on it, but all my... Safety first. Safety first, kids, but all my tools are in there. I can't bother to open it. I put Perspex up too. I don't think anyone can do a kipping. It's so cold! Shall we put the heater on? A full deficit handstand push up with a kip. With a kip, not strict, from there. Because that is deep, man. Let's go on, kip hard. Oh, yes! They showed me up. I see you, kip. I just asked Matt, would you like a pre-workout? He said, yeah, I'll go one. I've got a shaker. I went, your shaker's full. He went, no, no, it's water. And I went, what? That is water. It's leftover peach BCA. It looks like urine, Matt. Like, that is <laughs> not a clean pill. shaker. Come on, gym etiquette, kids. <laughs> Shut up, ranks. Oh, yeah. I can't do that, I know. It's cold in the garage. Yeah, it's not cold in it. It's not cold in it. I was always told because my squat wasn't that great or my position essentially wasn't that great everyone's always like whack your elbows down underneath pack them in because my thoracic mobility was horrendous I was a little bit like that so now that I've actually mobilized my thoracic region I can keep my chest up it's actually easier for me to squat and keep nice tension throughout my trunk by tipping my elbows back which is kind of like, it's gone 180 from this being absolutely horrendous, that had to do that. But if I try to keep my elbows down now in the squat, it makes me feel really like deactivated. My, my scats are so retracted that I can't do anything. Or protracted, sorry. For those of you, wow, good hair, John. For those who don't know, stay here, Leon. This is your thoracic part of your spine. You've got your cervical up at your neck at the top, you've got your thoracic, and you've got your lumbar down here. Your thoracic's gonna be your biggest part. There's the 12 vertebrae in your thoracic, isn't there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. That's it for squatting today. I'm not going to get above 140. I've got a, obviously got a weakness in that right glute, so resistance band around the leg, uh, kind of some clam stuff, some lunges where it's pulling in. Uh, get all that strengthened up and then come back to it. Might have been a bit optimistic after coming off two, ba two days of a cold, but again, what was the other day? It was sunny. I hit 140 and I could have doubled it. My knee was sore. I know it's in there. Um, a few days of bad eating and stuff, but we'll get it. These things happen. I'm still going to hit 150 before I go on holiday. 27th of December, I go away. So that gives me like four or five weeks, five, maybe six weeks to get up to 150. I'm going to do it. Oh, it's happening. So uh, Matt takes a day. What did you have on Matt? You up? What weight did you have on there? 150 for six is the most. No one likes you. <laughs> You're not invited around anymore. Okay. I did the right thing at stopping at 140. Um, if I went any higher, I'd probably blow out my ACL. Uh, there's a real big weakness in that right leg. So it's got to strengthen up my glutes. It's all good stuff. Uh, you need to see these things and understand where they are to kind of make them, make them get better. But at 100 upwards, you start to see it. And obviously, the heavier you get, any weakness you have just gets multiplied. Same thing with snatches and at the more complex lifts. If you've got a weak point, by the time you get to the top, you're way out. Welcome to another one of my dodgy hairstyles. They don't know what they're doing at the moment. Anyway, we're cleaning in Matt's gym today. Two reps on each weight. We're gonna up by five kilos as we go. Gotta be two good, nigh on perfect reps. Perfect to your ability, let's put it that way, before you can move up.
We squatted this morning, I've had a cold for two days. I'm still gonna go for my current PB of 110. I'm gonna hit that, then I'm gonna get some more. So I got pinned in the hole, in a comp, had the adrenaline and the atmosphere to get out of that relatively easy. We're going to try again. Bigger boys came. So although both of today's sessions didn't go quite as planned, it was still a good day of training. Um, I'm not going to use the excuse of just I've just come off a cold. By saying that, I kind of am already. So okay, I am going to use the excuse of come off a cold. I'm going to go and watch um, Justice League now. Have a Nando's, and tomorrow I'm going to crack back on with front squats and build this leg strength up so I don't get crushed by weights that I know technically I can lift, but strength-wise. This is my biggest problem at the moment with Olympic lifting in particular. Like my technique's not the best by any ways, but my technique is ahead of my strength. So once my strength picks up, I'll be able to lift more weights, and I'm sure then I'll have to work on technique a bit more as well. But until then, three times squat in a week, overhead, back squat, and front squat, which means I've still got overhead squat and front squat to do. So I know what I'm doing Saturday and Sunday then. My legs are gonna be sore. So you'll notice that none of my training this week, I know there's two days missing where I was ill and I didn't train, was cardiovascular wise. Once I've got an illness or I've got a cold and it's in my respiratory tract, I don't wanna be hammering the cardio. It just seems to make it worse. So I don't mind doing a bit of strength stuff and never really pushing my kind of aerobic capacity where I start to splut because then it, just, it feels like it just compounds the cold and makes it worse. So today I've got overhead squats. Yesterday was gymnastics in the, in the box. You wouldn't have seen that unless you follow us on Instagram. If you're not, make sure you do. It's the Lean Machines official. There's some stuff, me trying my first ever straddle rope climb from the floor. That was fun, um, which is legless. Um, I know it was a random one, but I had all this footage, and especially the Reebok stuff, which was amazing, that I didn't get to show you guys. And by the time this video goes up, we might even be at 400,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is obscene. Six years we've been doing YouTube. Um, and I feel like we've, we've managed to stay true to ourselves and do the same thing that we've done, which is try and give you guys free info and have a little fun and bring some happiness to, to the world and hopefully to fitness. Um, and none of that would have been possible without you guys. So I shouldn't have to say this because we're almost at 400,000, uh, or we might be by the time this goes up, but I should, it's, it's something that's meant every day, and it's a, it's a big thank you to you guys. Without you, we wouldn't have been able to do a lot of the awesome things that we've been managed to do, meet some of the really cool people, and hopefully, well I know, because we've had a lot of emails, but help a lot of you guys as well. So on that note, a big heartfelt thank you, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye team.